Sauce here. This is a video lesson for Python programming conditions. These lessons are intended to be paused so that you can practice. A condition always evaluates to be true or false. And if a variable or a value is true or false, we call that data type a Boolean. I'm going to write two lines of code that are going to look very similar, but they're very different. This line of code ought to be familiar. This is an assignment of the variable answer to the value true. Notice the single equal sign being used when we, when we form an assignment. Assigning a variable a value is like a statement. In this case, this is like the statement, the answer is true. I'm going to write another line that is going to look very similar, but is fundamentally different. The difference is that I've used two equal signs. And in this case, I've created not an assignment, but a condition. It may be evaluated to be either true or false. Notice the two equal signs. And when we use two equal signs, we can kind of think of it like a question. Is the answer true? And the answer to that question has a Boolean value. So if the variable is the value true, then asking whether that value is true means that this condition is true. Let me change the statement. This is the condition, is the value of answer equal to false? And if the value of answer has been assigned to be true, then it is not the case that the value of answer is false, which would make this condition false. We need some more practice with this. Conditions are at the heart of conditional statements. I can write a conditional statement starting with the keyword if, and what comes after the keyword if is a condition. We're going to use our example of the condition answer double equals true, which asks the question, is the value of answer true? And then after the condition, I have a colon which ends the conditional statement. And if I hit enter, then I can include lines of code that will only be run if this condition is true. Not the value of answer, but if the question, is the value of answer true, true. Indented, I'm going to write a print statement You got it. <clears throat> and I can see that you got it was printed because the condition that was this condition was evaluated to be true. It also ran another line of code that is coming up in these examples. So notice the format of this conditional statement and the code that was run. We use the keyword if, and then there was a condition, a colon, and then a line of code that was executed only if the value of the condition is true. I can write another conditional statement, and in this case, if answer is equal to false, then it will run those two lines that have been indented to run if this condition evaluates to be true. 
this condition is the answer false is going to be evaluated as false because the value of answer has been assigned to be true. So if I ran this program, then these two print statements would not be executed. Notice the code under the condition can be more than one line. In this example, we had one line of code that was run on this condition being true. And in this example, we had two lines of code that would have run if this condition was true, but it's not. The lines of code that are indented are called a code block. I have two other examples. Notice that this is of the form of a conditional statement. It has the keyword if, and it has a colon, and in between is a condition, but this condition is as simple as it can get. It's simply the Boolean value true. So it's impossible for this condition to evaluate to be other than true since it simply is the keyword Boolean value true. You will see this line of code run or executed when we run the program. Here we have another conditional statement. The condition is as simple as it can get. It's just the Boolean value false. It is impossible for that simple condition to be true. It's always going to be false, and therefore the code block under that condition being true will never be executed. And if we run this program again, as we saw, we had our first example, and then now we can see that the print line, the condition was simply a Boolean, came from this example. We can write sophisticated conditions that include mathematics and inequalities. I'm going to, for this example, assign an integer value 8 to the variable number. And then I'm going to write a condition with an inequality. If number, the value of that variable is greater than 5, and then a colon, then I will print the value of number must be greater than 5. This print line will not run because it won't be executed unless this condition evaluates to be true. This print line is a code block under the condition that starts with this if keyword. And we can see that this condition, number greater than 5, will evaluate to be true because the value of number is 8, and 8 is greater than 5. We can run our code, and we can see that print line did get executed. I'm going to put another line. in the code block that reassigns the value 1 to number. And we'll make a note. Notice the code block for the conditional statement above included a reassignment of the variable number. Providing another example, we could write another conditional statement. In this case, I'm going to use the symbol exclamation equals, which stands for not equal to. The exclamation is like the word not. If number is not equal to 8, then print the value of number must not be 8. We ought to see this print line executed because the value of number was reassigned in the code block that ran because this condition is true.
and we can see that print line. If I change the value of number here to be 4, then let's anticipate what we see or we don't see. This condition will evaluate to be false, which means that this code block on condition of it being true will not be executed. It'll be skipped. And if we do not reassign number to be 1, then number will still be 4 and still not be 8. And we can see that that, that one condition was evaluated to be true to print this line, but not the first. One more example. I'm going to assign the variable a string, the string value hello, and write a condition that uses the variable a string and lowers it. I'll put a capital in to see the effect of that. Let's anticipate what we'll see when we run. I have an assignment. Notice the single equal sign. I have a conditional statement, and in between the if and the colon, I have a condition. This condition compares a string and lowers it in case it was capitalized, and compares it with the string hello with a lowercase h. This condition is like asking the question, is the lower form of the value of a string exactly equal to the string hello? And if the answer to that question is yes, true, then the code block will run on that condition being true. If this condition evaluates to be false, then the program will skip over the code block and not execute anything unless it comes after. Notice, of course, that only world got printed, not the string hello, because the string hello was simply involved in the condition and the assi initial assignment and not a part of what was printed. Now you. You saw how conditional statements can be made to run lines of code if they evaluate to be true. Write a simple program that uses input, the input function, and a conditional statement that responds somehow if the input was your name.